Hey guys, I am back today to bring you another wig review. This one is adorable. This is Raquel Welch Crowd Pleaser in the color Copper Mahogany, which is RL6 slash 30. Take a look at that tag. So, um, this is just adorable. This is such a cute wig. Now, this one is a heat-friendly fiber, so we'll talk a little bit about that, especially for those of you who may not have experience with those types of fibers. But before I go too far, I want to share that this is another guest review for Wig Studio One, and as long as they're willing to have me as a guest reviewer, I am so thrilled to be able to do this because I get to try new wigs. I get to bring you guys new wigs as well, and that is super, super fun. Now, for those of you who are new, and haven't heard it before, Wig Studio One is an online retailer. They have an online wig shop and you can purchase virtually any brand of wigs there and they do have a coupon code for 30% off. If you type in beautiful you when you check out, you will get 30% off your order. So you'll get 30% off this beautiful piece as well as many, many other styles. Some wigs are excluded, but most of them are eligible for the coupon. They also have a great Facebook group, a really fantastic support group for us wig sisters. It's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group on Facebook. So please check them out because that's just a fab fabulous group for help. Uh, there's over 6,000 ladies on there. I am on there. And it was the first Facebook, Facebook wig support group that I joined. All right, crowd pleaser. I gotta tell you guys, I have really been curious about this one for a really long time, but I am in the camp of wig wearers that are a little hesitant with these heat friendly or heat defiant fibers. Sometimes you'll see them referred to as HD fibers. And it's just because the way these fibers are manufactured, they actually require some special care. They can frizz and fray really easily. Um, but that said, a wig this length is really going to be a good length for these heat friendly fibers because she doesn't touch my clothing. So anything above the shoulders that isn't going to rub on clothing, you'll get a little bit longer life out of them. I did do an experiment earlier this year with Bell Trust Lady Latte, which is another HD fiber wig. And I love that wig. And so I am slowly getting more comfortable with the thought of trying some HD styles and this is beautiful. First of all, the fibers on an HD wig feel really special and this is no exception. They're super silky and smooth and soft. I just absolutely love the way HD fibers feel right out of the box. They're really great. This style is just adorable. I think I've said that three times now and I mean it. It's so cute. It's got these flippy curls and it's just such a perfect length for everyday wear. It's just really, really, really cute. Another thing that I really like about this style is it's pretty low density. There's not a lot of hair on this piece. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't have a ton of permatease. I feel a little bit of permatease, just a tiny bit. It's not poofy or pillowy. It's just a little bit of a coating, which I believe it for sure needs to give it this little bit of lift that you see. Because with curls like this, I mean, you definitely don't want it laying super flat. It will just look really odd when you've got these cute little flirty curls. I mean, they're just cute. Um, it also has this cute little fringe. I'm not a bang girl, and this is not a full bang, but it could be really, really easily. But I just like the way it sweeps to the side, and I haven't really had to do anything with her. I did do an out of the box the day I got her. She pretty much looks like this. I, um, what did I do? I sprayed her down with water just a little bit, shook her out real well, did just a tiny, tiny bit of scrunching, and then I hung her back there upside down, and, and then I put her on a wig head, and she's been sitting on a wig head now for, for probably a little over a week, actually, and th that's it. I did no styling, put no styling product in her. I didn't have to soak her. Sometimes I will have to soak a curly wig to kind of get rid of box hair and to bring out the curls. So aside from those two little things I did, this is pretty much out of the box. 
which is super rare with wigs. I almost always have to do more than that and not with this one. She does have a lace front and a mono part. Let's get a look at that lace front. It's really good, you guys. Raquel Welch makes fabulous lace fronts. And what I really love is that they're fabulous in the brunettes too. Um, I've seen a few of them. I'm not, I don't have many Raquel Welch wigs, but I have seen a few. And if that is excellent for a brunette color. You could wear her styled up off the face so, so easily with no concerns that it's gonna look unrealistic. You're just not gonna be able to tell. They do such a good job of keeping the knots really small and fine, and I love that. I also love, sometimes you what you might notice with HD wigs is they tend to hold their style when you style them a little bit better than straight synthetic. So I can kind of mess with her a little and push these fibers certain ways and for the most part, now I got some, I think I have fiber stuck in my lip gloss. For the most part, she'll stay how you style her. Seriously, you guys. <laughs> a piece of hair. Um, and that I really, really love about HD fibers because a lot of times with regular synthetic, you really have to use a lot of product or accessories to, to move the fibers around to stick in a different position. And HD will sometimes do that for you really, really well. She's so lightweight, just like so lightweight. Um, if anything, I would be a little bit concerned potentially about being able to see wefting in a wind, but I have played with her to try to simulate that and I haven't been able to, but that's how light she is. She just doesn't have a ton of hair, which is so nice. Um, as far as the cap fit, I have just the tiniest, tiniest bit of room here hardly any. I did cinch in the cap a little bit to make it a little tighter. I am a 22 inch average circumference and um, I've, I've read Raquel Welch can run a little big but see the thing is for me usually with a wig the circumference isn't my issue because I'm pretty average. I am petite. I'm actually between child and petite from here to here and here to here. So where I would have trouble with wig caps is up here where I just get so much extra wig. I really don't have that here. She fits me really, really comfortably, which I love. And then the coverage is pretty average. That's all my bio hair. And so the cap's all right there. The ear tabs are here. Uh, so, the, so the coverage there is nothing Bad or good, I mean, it's just average. I almost always have bio hair showing. I've noticed Noriko caps seem to run a lot lower and they cover my bio hair a lot better, uh, but I'm not concerned about this coverage. I would cover that up with a little Great Day hair powder and you'd never be able to see, because my bio hair is a little dark, a little ashy. I'm just grabbing the Great Day hair powder so you know what I'm talking about. It's not an issue. So Great Day Hair Powder comes, it's Joan Rivers. It comes in a little compact, looks like that. They come with a brush and you can just take some out. And this is, incidentally, this is the color blonde. It's brown. Dark brown is very dark. So I usually tell brunettes, get the blonde because that's, that's dark enough. But then I would just take it and I would just start to paint it over. Can you already see I barely took any? And just paint it over my bio hair a little bit. That'll hide the gray and it'll hide kind of the ash. And then there you go. It's super, super easy to do. Let's look at the cap. Gosh, this is just so light. I just love it. So you've got a mono part, lace front, velvet ear tabs, no extended nape, and Velcro adjusters, and then the rest is wefted. That color copper mahogany, I haven't really talked about it yet. It's such a pretty brunette. It's just a kind of a medium dark brown with some auburnish coppery highlights that are very subtle, fairly well blended. And I actually had this color in straight up with a twist. I do have a review of Straight Up With The Twist on my YouTube channel. 
I loved that wig. She was just a little too short for me. I did sell her, but I gotta tell you guys, like every other review, I'm still getting reviews on that video and I made it a long time ago, saying, I hope you kept this wig. <laughs> kind of makes me sad I sold her, but I just wasn't comfortable in how short she was. This is a much better length for me, although straight up with the twist wasn't really curly. Um, it was straight. But it's just, this is just adorable. Um, she's very, very tuckable. And I tuck my wigs. I, I, you know, I work in an office. I sit at a computer. I tuck my wigs all the time. And uh, that makes me very, very happy that she's that, that tuckable. I just can't tell you guys how comfortable she is, how lightweight she is. These curls are just perfect. Given that she's heat friendly, you could put more curl in her or you could straighten her out a little bit. Um, kind of the sky's the limit. Like I said, HD wigs require some special care. You want to make sure to avoid friction. And so one of the enemies of friction are clothing, scarves, things like that. But another enemy is your hands. So my Lady Latte, I played with her a lot because the fibers feel so good and because I was tucking her all the time. And I noticed the ends started to get a little frizzy, kind of a frayed frizzy, faster than any of my other straight bobs. And I know it's because I played with her a lot. Now, that happens with a straight HD wig. You can take steam, smooth them right out. It's a little bit tougher with a curly wig because you can't, taking steam to her will take the curl out. But I would just say, try not to play with her a ton. I don't always keep the wigs that I get for these guest reviews because I don't get to choose them. And so sometimes it's just not my style. And so I love to pass a good deal on to my wig sisters, but I'm keeping this one because this is totally my style, totally adorable. You know, it sort of reminds me of Shayna by Tressalure with way less hair way less permatease. Like I said, it has just the tiniest, tiniest bit of permatease right here, right next to the monofilament. So tiny. Guys, all I can say, because you can't ever tell in a video, if you are afraid of permatease, I wouldn't be afraid of this wig. And this is coming from someone who was so afraid of permatease early on. Um, I really wouldn't. I don't think that this hair would overwhelm anyone. I really don't. If you're a brand new wig wearer, what I'm more concerned about are the HD fibers for you because they do take a little extra care. But this style, this density, and the permatease, I think it would be great for a new wig wearer. I really do. I don't think you'll be overwhelmed. I don't think you'll feel um, like it's too much hair, which most of us do when we're new. I'm just looking for a clip. My reviews are like, your girlfriend in your bathroom. I mean, honestly, I don't um, do a lot of pre-planning. I mean, I do think about the wig, but I like to just do everything in the review so I don't come with all of my tools ready. So for those of you who don't, don't know me, haven't seen my videos, one thing I love to do, I have a ton of these little tiny claw clips in every color. And they're so cheap at Walgreens, CVS, and I love them because they're such a quick and easy way to get hair out of your face on a wig and they stay put, they don't hurt the fibers. It's just adorable. So this one is a great one to do that kind of stuff to because of that fantastic lace front. I also sometimes like to pull the whole front off and just kind of put it up in a little poof and that's probably the 80s girl in me <laughs> from those big bangs that I never could really achieve because I've had thin hair my whole life. It's just truly thinning in my adult life. I love that too. So I think you guys, I really think this is adorable. If you like chin length styles with a little bit of layer, if you like curls, it's not wild, it's not overly curly. And you can do with just a mono part. I think Crowd Pleaser is an awesome, awesome wig. I love it and I highly recommend it. Um, stick around for an outside look of this color, which is so, so pretty. Like I said, it's a six, which is a kind of a medium dark brown and a 30, which is 
an auburn, a medium auburn, but there's, it's so blended. It's just not overly highlighted. It, nobody's going to do a double take on your hair thinking what, what's going on with her hair. It's just perfect. So stick around for the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm out here to show you copper mahogany. It's really chilly out here and windy. It's making my eyes water, so I apologize. I'm not having an easy time looking at the camera. I'm just going to give you guys a few different angles. Copper mahogany is one of my favorite shades. I love this color so much. It's just so pretty. It's um, I think it's RL6-30. I love this color. Just super warm. Not too overly highlighted. It's just kind of a medium auburn brunette. Just beautiful. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions though. I'm always happy to help. Have a good one, you guys. Hey guys, all right, so here is Crowd Pleaser right out of the box. It's the end of a very long day. I'm really tired, I'm about to head to bed, but I wanted to get this out of the box filmed so that I can spray her down and, you know, maybe try her out tomorrow. This is right out of the box. I didn't do anything to her. Popped her on my head. She's not bad, really not going to need a whole lot. I am just going to probably spray her down a little bit and then see what we've got. All right. Thanks for watching.